Hey guys, my name is Salvatore Peter Russo. I write books and I just wanted to take a second because I was actually um, going through my garage to make room for some firewood. I'm a writer from Queens, you know, and I've been doing, I've been writing a long time. I have six books at Amazon um, and uh, I was moving, making some room for firewood and I actually found a, a note, like a box of like all my handwritten manuscripts. Like I have so much stuff that wasn't published that's not even out there that some, some haven't even been typed in a book that I just written by hand. But I want to take a second to show it to you to just prove to you how real I am, okay? As a writer, like... When I was a teenager, I spelt out the word malcontent in notebooks with poetry and like bad, you know. This is what the first one looked like. I was a teenager, I was very angry, and it's just basically like bad lyrics, just kind of like poetic nonsense. And this was the first one, this was letter M. And then I have letter A here, okay, this is A. This is, all these books are full. L, okay, um, C, <laughs> O, N T There's an E there. This is E. This is N, okay? And this is T. So I was so angry as a like a, as a adopted South American kid in Centerport, Long Island as a teenager and so frustrated with like the nature of the universe that like I filled out 10 notebooks full of poetry when I was in high school. But I also sang for four different bands. I had a social circle and a life. But I still wrote all that poetry because I was just an angry teenager, right? And then I have some manuscripts here, actually, that I'll show you. Um, this was this says Outlaw, right? But this was actually a book called I Crash Cars, which was actually this the first book that I published on Amazon. It's called It's so dark. It's like Tarantino meets Scorsese in the literary world. Just dark, like really unsettling, just kind of disturbing. It's about like bad cops and just like criminals that aren't actually monsters. It's kind of like it's, it's kind of out there. But it was a work of fiction, and it was called I Crash Cars. And this was the original. This was when I wrote it by hand, and then I typed it up, and it became I Crash Cars. And other manuscripts. This is High Water Skyline, okay? This is the collection of, this is a great collection of poetry. It's so dark. I wrote it, I was on a lot of drugs in college when I wrote that. And High Water Skyline is just like really dark. Like the title High Water Skyline is meant to describe the way the, the ocean would look to somebody drowning, like from the water. That's what I mean when I say High Water Skyline. This is Gilliam, okay? This is a short story I wrote about a vampire that is in the collection of High Water Skyline that I just talked about. And this was when I wrote the first story. It's the longest short story I've ever written, but this is the writing by hand, you see? And uh, it's just the longest short story and it goes on and on. And that's Gilliam and that's in High Water Skyline. And that's one of the things I wrote by hand. This is The Perfection of Sleep. I wrote this when I was in high school about my first love and uh, it's dark, it's dark for a kid. Obviously I was a very dark young man. And that was The Perfection of Sleep, and that is not out yet. I'm, not, I'm going to put that out eventually, though. I will get that book out there at some point. Another book that I typed up that has gotten out there is a book called And the Sky Was Amazing. It's about, like, a, like a schizophrenic that's kind of an alcoholic that, like, drinks a lot and uh, his, like, personal struggles, and it's called And the Sky Was Amazing. And uh, that's not out yet, but it's typed. This is the first collection of poetry I ever wrote called Noise. And this first section is called Poem, poem is Written for, for Women. There's another section called Poem is Written for Men. Part three is Fear of Males. Part four is The Sweet Ones. Part five is Leonard the Oscar. And that was the first collection of poetry. And I actually typed that up, that I, that I actually legitly typed up. And um, let's continue here, because I'm not done. This is Danielle's View. Okay, this was the first book I ever wrote. And I never published this one, but it's called Danielle's View. And it's uh, kind of, it has some feminist themes. It was, I was in college. I was like very young when I wrote that. I was like... It was my, like I was a very young teenager. It's very poetic. It's very, very analytical for a dude. And uh, it's called Danielle's View. And that's the first book I ever wrote. And then I'll just go through some of these random poetry books that I have here. To show. Oh yeah. This is a collection of type poems of mine that I uh, take with me when I go to, when I, when I used to go to open mics. These are more books of poetry, more, three more random notebooks of poetry. As I said, these are all filled some front and back to the end, okay? And uh, hold on. Another random notebook of poetry, yes, right there. Okay, this one is another one that's uh, from like the last decade or so, and uh, poetry and stories. And uh, yeah, this is uh, another notebook of mine full of poetry and stories with some artwork that's not, it's not so bad. I don't really think the artwork is particularly awful on this. This is one of the classics right there. Um, this is from a song on, that is not actually on a Land of the Silver Jets album, but there's a song called Fashion, and I have this verse, and it's kind of about, you know, 
prostitution and whores and just how everything becomes like a world of instant gravitation and pleasure. And uh, the song is called Fashion, but I have this verse and it goes, and it's, and you look at the picture and it goes, what I offer is beyond flesh, time and reason. What I offer is immortality, an increase in self-esteem. As the call girls wash themselves off in the bedroom where I sing, we feel nothing, nothing at all. It's a really deep song and only like, only people that have known me like my whole life even know that song fashion. That's not like, that's not out there. That's not like for public consumption. That's, that's, I had an, I'm, an album called Silver before I became Land of the Silver Jets. And it never, it's not on any platforms and that's off that. Another collection of poetry right here. Okay. And as I, I was always saying, it's not a joke. My handwriting is pretty damn small here. And I filled front and back this, in, this in, entire freaking this entire book front and back. So yeah, I'm a, I am a pretty dedicated lunatic to this. Okay. And then one more, this was a, this was another collection of poetry that I wrote just, um, wow. What? Like five to 10 years ago. These are, these are getting older, but more poetry, <clears throat> another book. This is, what is this? This is another book of poetry and lyrics from a while ago. It's like got it's leather bound as you can see. Okay. Another one. And hold on, this is what's annoying is that I'm not, I'm not even done yet is what the problem is here. So I'm just gonna, I'm almost gonna call it a day, but I'm gonna show you one other thing here. All right. Random et cetera too, okay? These are just the random boxes of like, like handwritten stuff you can see, just like random collection of like other stuff. So this is pretty much my life in writing. And uh, my name is Salvatore Peter Russo and uh, you should check out some stuff. And if you're gonna pick up one book for me to start, pick up, the poetry book, yours and mine all the time. It's short stories and poetry in the vein of Bukowski. Check it out, read it. Also, High Order Skyline is some of the greatest short stories. They're very dark, very dark, and some people can't get the whole book, but in the vein of like Hubert Selby Jr. of like Yu Mishima, High Water Skyline's pretty dark. You might enjoy that if you're into that kind of literature. And I Crash Cars, as I said, is a trilogy. I haven't written the last part of it yet. I have the first two. The first one's called I Crash Cars, but there's a prequel called I Will Help You Remember. It makes more sense to read I Crash Cars first because most of the characters were introduced in that. So it's actually weird. Like the second part of the trilogy I put up first and then I put up the prequel. I also had a sequel to I Crash Cars that I wrote, that I wrote by hand in a notebook and I lost that notebook. You believe this shit? Anyway, yours mine all the time, High Water Skyline. The I Crash Cars trilogy is like Dark Scorsese shit. Other than that, you have a wonderful day. I'm going to keep on pumping it out, you know? It's what we do. Ciao, ciao.